What's going on guys, I'm Ryan, welcome back to another video, welcome back to the channel, you guys are doing absolutely fantastic. In this video, let's have a look at this UUO P6 native 1080p projector on a budget side. I believe this is a good idea for a quick home theater, something that you can mount in your home really quick without spending loads. Just point this to a white wall and you're good to go, I'll show you that really quick when we do our series of tests. In terms of specs, this one has 6,000 lumens of brightness according to the manufacturer. I know that some of you don't believe these numbers, you want to know the ANSI lumens and from the info I receive, this one has 320 ANSI lumens. Remember this is a budget unit and costs around $200 at the moment, not $1,000. So you need to be aware of that when watching this video when uh, you compare it with some other more expensive units. So it is what it is. Okay, with that out of the way, let's have a look at this unit. As you can see, it's not a portable one. I do like this finish at the top, brushed aluminium or brushed aluminium if you are in the US or any other country that you spell it like that. So here you have a box of goodies. Let me unpack all of this for you guys. So let's start over here. So you have this cable to connect your old RCA devices. There's also the power cable. There's also one HDMI cable. And as per usual with this type of projectors you get this cheap remote, those buttons glow in the dark I believe, and you need to supply your own AAA batteries. There's also a user manual and one extra dust filter which is quite handy. And of course, last but not least, the UUO P6 native 1080p. It's made of plastic, but has this brush aluminium finish. There's also these menu buttons here. Looking at the front, of course, we have the lens and the IR receiver there. You have this lens protection. Let me just remove it. And you can see there's the logo, UUO logo. Fingerprint magnet, as you guys can tell by this. You have this black silk finish. On this side you have a lot of ventilation here, one SD card slot and two HDMI ins. I think with the proper cables you can connect it to your Android or perhaps iPhone and mirror it using the cable only. There's no other connectivity for that. Although don't take my word for this mirroring thing because I didn't try. On the back here we can see the speaker there. There's one VJI port so you can plug, for example, some laptops, two USBs, another IR receiver, one AV port and one headphone jack port so you connect it to external speakers, for example. That is also the power in there as well. Continuing on the side, you have the intake for the fan there with the filter, I don't know if you guys can tell, and the manual vertical keystone adjustment there. And remember this unit has a 50 degrees electronic, horizontal and vertical keystone adjustment. Over here we can see the focus dial that you can turn back and forward to focus your projection. In terms of projection screen size you can do up to 300 inch. Finally guys, looking at the bottom of the projector, you can see in gold the holes for the ceiling mount for example. You have some rubber feet there. There's also some ventilation there on the side and still at the bottom on the front here you can see this screw, very advanced technology so you need to rotate it so you can lower or raise your projector. Let me just show you where the dust filter is. So there you have it and like I mentioned, like I showed you before, you have an extra one. Okay guys, so last test before we point this to the wall, let's do a fan noise test. In this case, just using my phone as a decibel meter. So let's turn it on, let's see what we get here. Normal um, room noise is 27, 28. And soon as you turn it on, it goes up to 54. I'm voicing over so it doesn't interfere on the test. If you move the phone to this side here, we get 60. I think that's the fan side. On the back here we get 58, 60 as well. This is really close to the projector guys, of course, as you guys can see. 61 there, 62. 
and at the top 54. Yeah, I can tell guys, and I need to be honest with you, this is not the quietest fan I've tested. You will notice the fan 100%. And saying that, guys, let's point this projector to a white wall and let's see what it can do. So the screen size is 85 inch diagonal and the distance of projection is 280 centimeters. So really quick, let's have a look at the setup. You have the picture mode where you can have different ones like standard, soft, user or vivid alongside with color temperature, expect ratio, noise reduction and projection direction which means you can mount this on the ceiling if you wish to next you have the sound settings that you can customize as well and here is where you can adjust your keystone electronically so this is good for small rooms for example we have the horizontal one that you can do this alongside with the vertical one i noticed when it's not straight on you will lose a bit of sharpness. In addition to this, you, have, you also have your manual keystone adjustment here on the projector itself. So you have quite a few settings that you can do to get your picture that straight. So for the test, let's plug my Mi Box 3 into the HDMI 1. One thing that worth mentioning is this projector will auto power off when the light source reaches the temperature of 158 degrees Fahrenheit. Looking at the resolution, we can see we're projecting at a 1080p by default. Let's start with YouTube. Okay, looking at the resolution here, we can see we're playing a 4K video. Yeah, guys, as you guys can see, the colors are quite good and the image looks sharp from this distance. Let's try another video. I don't know if you guys can notice, but we're not on the pitch black room and the brightness look quite good. Like we normally do with the other projectors we review on the channel, let's have a look at this pattern where we can see the RGB colors, we can see the red, the blues, we can see the scale of grays there, and we can see the lines to, um, to check if they are sharp enough or not. And over there, of course, you can see the color. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to bring the camera over to the screen, I mean to the wall. Okay, guys, so this is my hand for comparison of size. I think it looks good. Let me try to get closer image for you guys. Let's see here in the corners. The top as well and on the other side. Let me know down below in the comments what you guys think. Here you can see the colors. Yeah, in my opinion, I think it's not too bad, especially for the price of this unit. Now what I'm going to do, I'm going to turn on the lights. I don't know if you guys can tell, but the room is quite bright when the pan the camera here. Of course, to get the full potential of this projector, not just this one, but any projector, you need to turn the lights off. Yeah, much better. Although it's not full pitch black, I don't know if you guys can tell there, it's still bright outside, but I think it's doing a good job. Let's now have a look at some black and white. So starting from black till completely white. I'm going to turn on the lights again and off. Yeah guys, with these scenes you can see the lighter 
in the dark uh, areas of the screen. Of course, when watching movies, even at home with a cheap projector like this one, you can get that cinema feeling that I enjoy a lot. I was shocked that Chicago Bulls even asked me to come. I think I was a little more eccentric. Of course, guys, with the screen this size, it's perfect for gaming. In this case, you can bring some friends over to play. This is not me playing, this is just a video from YouTube. Hopefully, you guys can get the idea. <laughs> One thing you normally ask me is if the fan noise is too loud or not and in this case I can tell this one it's a little bit loud as you guys can tell by now but soon as you play anything the sound from the speaker will mask the fan noise. At the heart of this team is a rare spirit, Coach Phil Jackson. We created an image that people want to be part of and I think that's all you can hope for. Okay guys, the last thing we're going to try is to play files from a USB stick. Bear in mind that this projector doesn't have any Wi-Fi connectivity nor Bluetooth. So let's select the USB here. Normally these projectors are quite picky with the file type. Let's for example pick this 1080p file. Alright, not bad. Uh, it's playing the file without any issues. This is a native 1080p file. Let's try a 4K now. And of course you get this unsupported file. Let's now test this 720p with subtitles. Oh, I'm, I'm not freaked out, but it's... All right, fine. I'm freaked out. I'm having nightmares that I'm being chased by this giant robotic oh, class. I I it. To... No done. subtitles in this case, but the image quality, as you guys can tell, is quite good. And it's playing all right. Robot's memory sync. And back to the Yeah guys, I think in my honest opinion for the price, you cannot ask for more. Remember this is a budget unit, he has some flaws, like for example the fan noise, I think it's quite loud, and when you do the keystone adjustment electronically, you get slightly blurry image. Other than that, I think it's bright enough, the calls are good, contrast is alright, and it's sharp enough to have a good experience. Saying that guys, if you enjoyed the video, click the like button, and please guys, don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Like always, thank you very much for watching, and hope I can see you all in the next one.